Okay, this is a quick video on how to show a defenseman how to rush into the offensive zone. Rushing a defenseman rushing the puck is a take, there's a lot that goes into it. Number one, you know, do we need a goal? Number two, is the, are you tired? Number three, is it a good opportunity to rush? We're going to look into see if the opportunity is a good opportunity to rush. Right now, I have the right defenseman here on the left side. That is always a good place to go to as a, so if you're a left defenseman, you would go to the right side. Um, and what we want to do here is we want to see the, the opponent in front of us. This right defenseman, if, it has, if he has his stick upside down, if his knees aren't bent, if he's skating with his ankles bent and slowly, you know that you can probably beat him no matter what the gap is. If he has the gap, a, a low, a, 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 like a five stick length gap or a closed gap, it doesn't matter. You can probably get around that player just by looking at him. You would fake inside, and then you can go all the way around here. And what you want to do here is you want to draw the goalie deep into the net, and then you have a choice. You want to make the goalie move. So if the goalie's moving slowly, oops, I have the goalie highlighted here too. If the goalie's moving slowly like you are following your movement, you can drop the puck right into the short side. Okay. If the goalie kind of stays there and waits for you to sh a fake shot, you can now go around the goalie and drop it in. Oops, get out of there, think it in this way, okay? Those are two Those are two moves, and, that's, and the easiest play is gonna be against one weak defender, okay? This defender I wouldn't worry so much about because what you're, they're gonna have to be stopped by the time they get to you anyhow. Once they're stopped, they're pretty much useless. So you can just go right around them, use your body, you can even kind of check them out of the way and go, they're just gonna have a stick out, which is gonna be very uh, ineffective against your speed. Okay, so don't even worry about this guy, it's just really just this guy. So now, this defenseman skating back with, with you, now you see that they're, have, they're a decent defender, you see that they have a pretty big gap, which means that they aren't closing the gap yet, you watch their feet, if they start to put on the brakes, um, you, can make your, you can go around them or make your move. So if they're all the way back here and they don't put on the brakes so back here, they're basically going all, they're basically floating back to the end of here. So if they're here and they're floating backward, what you want to do is you want to make a quick fake to the outside, and that will probably push their body that way. And then you're going to cut hard with a power turn inside, and now you're going to be around here when you think about shooting, okay? So when you think about shooting here, you have to look at the goalie. If the goalie, the best shot would be low to blocker side. Second best shot would probably be high blocker side, depending on the goalie. Um, you can also go five hole, which would be a nice shot too, because if you go five hole, you can be, and if it doesn't go in, you can also get your rebound, your own rebound. Maybe it rebounds out over here. Here's the, here's the rebound. And you can skate in. You can skate in and shoot it here. So there's a lot of different options that you can do around the goal. So just in short, in short, you want to have a lot of speed. That's number one. You want to be able to either look at the look at the defenseman. If the gap is very tight, there's no defenseman in our league that's going to be able to skate as fast backward as you can forward. So if you're even close in a race when they're skating back and forward, you, you make a quick face. You make quick fake inside, go around. You can even curl all the way around here and come back up in front like that. That's an option. You can basically go behind the goal line and come up. Okay, that's one of the things you can do. So that's one option. And the other option is if they are playing the gap too wide, curl in and shoot inside their house, bread basket, into their slot area. Okay? Those are two high quality shots that you can make. Okay, another option, which if there which is a probably uh, a pretty good option most of the time, is there probably will be another player back. Let's say in this case it's the center. So now you have to be literally you have to beat three guys. They're all playing back, you're entering the zone. You have this right D on you. You want to still skate full speed, okay? You want to draw this guy back because you'll be skating full speed, full speed, full speed back to the defender. And at the last second, you curl around. Okay, and this gives you a lot of, a lot of options right now. This allows other players to enter the zone can come back here and say, you know, dump it on the boards. And you don't want to just dump it on the boards. You want to, 
you want to hit them on this tape. We really are looking for tape passes. A tape pass could be banking it off the boards and hitting them on the tape as well. So if this defender is in the way where they're going to steal it, a nice play will be banking it here right onto the tape, okay? We really want to try to hit the tape. We really don't want to... We, it's an option. It's always never a horrible option, but we don't really want to go for the, the dumping in unless we have to, unless we have a lot of pressure on us because then people are going to have to chase it and they're going to have to go get that puck on their tape. It's going to be a little bit harder to get that puck on their tape, okay? Okay, so I, um, that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Another option would be that left winger come in and they want to find open areas. You want to find open areas. You do not want to pass the puck high with a high defender unless it's precision because then that, now you're, you're here and the defender now has the puck and the defender can go the opposite direction while you're deep in the zone, okay? Another, another always a great option is going to be your fellow defender. And this defender will now see that you're on his side and he'll be going and taking up your side. It's called interchanging responsibility. I hope you liked the video.